Hello my Irish Seekers, and it has been a while. Yes, I know, it has been actually a really long time. I did not mean to stay off my channel for that long. But I am back, and I am here to give you a review that you guys suggested. And so, I came here to give you this review of Star Wars. I know, right, first on the channel, never did Star Wars. I mean, I'm into Star Wars, it's not that much. I'm more of a Godzilla nerd. So, anyways, I am here to review the Dewback and Stormtrooper from uh, Star Wars Power of the Force line. Yes, I know, crazy. That's from, like, what, like the 1990s? I know. I'm surprised I even got a hold of that. Now, I will be unboxing an older figure. So, for any collectors that may be watching this, I suggest... um. I mean, if you're a collector and you don't want to see me open this, you can click off the video right now. But, I'm going to go over the box, because the figure is not in there right now. The Stormtrooper and Dewback. I know, right? Oh, gotta get that out of here. I don't want to spoil it. So, we have the... This is actually from the new lower price point. No, it actually cost, like, this amount. $39. $39. It is an antique, I understand, but this is, f well, Power of the Force. This is when, like, Hasbro had it or something. Galactic Empire. You can see a little glimpse of it. Uh, the same thing on the side. Uh, same thing on the side. Uh, ooh, diff different pose. Um, head raises and jaw chomps when tail is moved. Love it. Okay, um... Let's see, before we look at the back, it's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. Next, we get a photograph or a drawing, I don't know. And it tells you about the do-back. You, you're able to cut it out too, it says cut out. But I ain't ruining this box. Yeah, I managed to open this without ruining the box, so I am proud of myself. It was already in this condition. Uh, you know, I guess we'll go over some facts about the do-back. Type, lizard-like omnivore. Lovely. It's height, 1.3 to 2 point, uh, well, 2 meters at sh shoulder. Okay, so, not too tall. Homeworld, Tatooine. Okay, uses, patrol animal, pet, food, or leather source. That says leather, right? Yeah, that says leather. And then here are some other figures from this toy line. Um, I have him, Bosk, my favorite bounty hunter. Uh, no questions about it. We got some, uh, the Boba Fett and the Probe Droid. I already have the Boba Fett. Maybe next review. And the Snow Speeder and Luke's, um, Skyhopper. Don't have it. This is, I don't have either of those. So, now that we got the box out of, way, out of the way, I guess we don't need to see it anymore. Now, before we get to look at the figure, I mean, you saw it on the box and you're probably going to see it on the thumbnail of this video. Let's go over the accessories. Um, you put this on it so the Stormtrooper can hold it, you know, as a saddle. Very nice. Um, next we got the backpack for the Sand Trooper. Usually, I mean, all the accessories are for the Sand Trooper. I don't know what the dewback would have, like a water container? Maybe. Um, yeah, here we go. Just a normal backpack, can't really say much. Communicator, maybe? I don't know. A gun, a beautiful machine gun, show act, movie accurate to be exact, if my camera decides to focus. There we go. Really nice. And finally, the thing we've all been waiting for, the reason of this review. The Stormtrooper. Hi. Oh yes, we have the Stormtrooper, and I will go over its articulation in a bit. Right now, we're going to go over the details and the coloring. Um... A little thin for a stormtrooper, but um, pretty good. Also, you're able to change its poses on its legs. Get into that a bit. You got the nice sand color. So, for some weird reason, there's sand on the top of his toe and on his whole chest area, but it's not at the bottom of the foot. Isn't that where most of the sand would be at? I don't know. Uh, he is a commander because of the little, I don't know what these are. We're just going to go with uh, mini flags. So, the mini flags, yeah. 
All right. Uh, the head looks like a stormtrooper. But yes, overall, it is really nice. Okay, now we'll go into the articulation. Uh, head can move 360. Let's go 360! Uh, this can also move 360 as well. Yeah, let me see if my camera can focus, my god. Um, here we have some arm movement, also 360. Love it. Uh, leg can go out this far. And it can... Not really go that back that far. Um, his he's got a little knee joint, so he can go. Boop. It can go back that far and forward that far. So yeah, he is ridiculously hard to stand. Okay, I just got on the stand first try. Let's go. Even though I cut the video, so it's gonna sound like I didn't, but I did. So that's lovely. I guess I will put the um. Accessories on him now, huh? You can clip his backpack into that little segment. There we go. I got him with all of his accessories on him. And, um, I gotta say, some downside. It looks great. Um, the gun, if I just move it slightly, it comes off. That is a big bummer. Yeah, big bummer. Very annoying. So, uh, that's all I have for the Stormtrooper. Now, let's get into the Dubat. And I have to admit, it's a nice figure. Texture on this guy is pretty good. He's got multiple different colors. Although, he does have any sand on his feet at all. But, I don't know. Maybe a Star Wars thingy. Um, comes with the saddle on here you can't take this part off but you can take this part off i'll get into that in a bit and before i get into the jaw action ooh, um he's got some he's got some nice movement to his feet like see how this is bending like right here so it looks like he's walking he kind of looks sad also he doesn't have pupils i don't know why he has pupils in the t show Look, it's even on the artwork. So overall, the pupils aren't that big of a deal. He just looks like lifeless. Like he's going to kill you. Watch your bed. Alright, I guess I can go into the articulation with this guy. Um, it goes that far up because of his head. And it can go back that far. Not able to do a 360, but it probably could. And it's the same with the legs, but this one. Don't worry, this happens like all the time, even if you get it fresh. The uh, This can come off on purpose, but if the tail comes off, you're in big trouble, and I will show you why in a bit. The tail, by the way, the legs are all the same. Uh, the tail, it moves back and forth. And you can hear something going on at the front, and I'm going to show you in a bit. Okay, what is a skeleton servant snack? Spare ribs. <laughs> See, I love this motion so much. This is why it's one of my favorite uh, Power of the Force like line figures. Because it has here. If I take this out, yes, it come out. Yes, that's what I was gonna tell you about. It comes out. Um. Yeah, the neck moves and the head bites. It's very. It's a very good figure. And I can't forget this part. Uh, give me a few seconds. Ooh, so this is what he looks like completed with the full set. Stormtrooper, do-back. It's all, it's all great. Yeah, I, I don't really have much. They look perfect together, you know, sand trooper and a do-back. You could just imagine, like, as a kid, the play value for this, it's, it's, it's great. Maybe the gun is a little bit of a problem. But maybe that's how, maybe, maybe I have a defected one or something, I don't know. But, yes, that is all for this review, and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of my other videos, too. And, um, that's really all I have to say. I'm not gonna ask you guys to like or subscribe, because that seems pointless to me. So, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I can't speak, man. But, 
there is one thing. There is a 50-50 for if I should do a face reveal. I need one of y'all to change the tiebreakers or else I won't know what to do. So should I do a face reveal or not? I don't know. Maybe I'll decide on my own. We'll see. Well, I hope uh, somebody can break the tie. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, my Irish Seekers. See you guys later.